Hello there, I'm Natalie and I love to travel. I want to go everywhere, see everything and indulge in the beauty of the world. This year, I plan on tackling Spain for my honeymoon, then Bali to eat, pray, and maybe love, and then going to Japan to get inspired and eat some sushi. Raise your hand if you want to travel the world. In this case, give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to show you the best packing life hacks and travel gadgets that will make your life so much easier. Hold up, I'm currently doing a giveaway where I'm giving one lucky subscriber an iPhone. Woo! To enter, just subscribe to become a part of the family, and that's it. It's that simple. I challenge you guys to get this video to 300,000 thumbs up so that life can give you a ticket to anywhere. I dare you to turn this to this by clicking below and giving it a thumbs up. Smash it. I want to give a huge shout out to Sasha for watching my videos. Thank you so much. So if you want a shout out in my next video, just make sure you have notifications turned on and comment below hashtag notification squad. And that way, if you're here within the first 30 minutes that every video goes live, I might choose you. So make sure you're here early. Add me on Instagram because I'm currently doing a huge giveaway where I'm giving my favorite makeup stationary Polaroid. Literally, Natalie's essentials to you. Let's get on into the video. So the very first gadget is a little weird, but I will say it is my new favorite thing. Look at this. This is called a label maker. It looks all kinds of crazy ways. Pretty much what it is, it's a way to organize everything that you have from like bottles to papers to desk stuff. Is it has like this wheel right here that has every type of like letter and symbol and whatever you need. All you gotta do is like twist it and then press down and then it starts writing. This is so cool. I've literally been organizing and categorizing everything. Like all my DIY supplies, I've been doing this, all of my makeup, in my vanity, I have all these sections and I've been categorizing it by blushes, bronzers, highlighters, literally everything. It's amazing. Especially if you're traveling, you don't really know what's in what. So now you can start labeling it. And then it's super easy. All you have to do is twist it back and then there's this little cut feature and then you just click it and bam, your thingy comes out. Hey. The cool thing about this is it's sticky. So there's like the little layer that you just remove like this. Isn't this cute? Come on, this is adorable. And then you just place this and label whatever you like. Personally, I just feel like this has made organizing so much fun. I have just become a neat freak and I love labeling things. I'm literally like this crazy labeling lady, but this is amazing for when you're traveling and you don't know where things are. You can categorize it, you can stay organized and stay productive. <laughs> This next one is about to be my best friend. This is what you call the wrinkle whiz. So supposedly it's good on all fabrics and what it does is just makes wrinkles disappear. So pretty much what it is, is it sprays away any type of wrinkles without the use of an iron because ain't nobody got time for that. Over here we have my hand model. What up? Take out your hand. Hand. And here is the very wrinkly garment. So what it says is this is a fresh linen scent. Pretty much what you do is you spray at a distance and then you're gonna stretch out the clothes and as you stretch it out, it's pretty much gonna de wrinkle it. Are we ready for this? Until damp. Oh, it smells nice. What? Did you see that? Did you guys yeah, see yeah. that? Okay. And this smells great, by the way. I wonder what technology is in this. Oh my god, look from this side to that side. That is not pretty. This is cute. I'm gonna tackle this bottom right here. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this, Dennis? I'm never gonna <laughs> iron again in my life. This is the side that we ironed with the wrinkle whiz, and then that's the side that was left alone. Literally in under like a minute. This is my new favorite product. Thank you. I love it. It smells good. Ta da! I look like I wet my pants. <laughs> I will confess to you, I am an overpacker. I always overpack and unfortunately, I always have to pay some cash when I am turning in my large bag. It's just embarrassing, okay? So I found a solution. I ended up finding this gadget that is a portable scale. So this portable scale is gonna help you avoid any kind of fees that you may get with it. And all you do is lock into place just like this and then you hold it like this, lift your bag and touch this little button right here and it'll give you the exact weight of your bag. So to prove that my bags are always heavy, here is one heavy sticker for my recent travel trip. Here is another heavy sticker from another recent uh, travel. And I always have to pay a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little scale, we're gonna pass it through the handle, this one, and clip it on. 
and then so another thing to mention is this actually weighs kilograms and pounds so no matter where you are in the world it'll help you out so you press down the button to turn it on and then we're gonna lift it and it starts counting Ooh. I don't actually have anything in this bag but this bag alone weighs 11 pounds 11.6 I can really see myself loving this gadget because if you're someone like me that's always on the go and you just need something easy, light, and portable to, you know, weigh your stuff, I think this is a good gadget. So this next gadget is for all of my sleepy heads. This is what you call the ostrich pillow. Now this is really cool because it was actually a Kickstarter from Studio Banana Things. And pretty much what it is, it's an on the go sleeping device. How cool is that? We're gonna open it up. So opening it up, it looks a little something like this. Oh, interesting. I like the material, it's pretty nice. It's not like foamy, it's more of, what would you call this? Beady. According to Dennis, this is beady. And there are three different ways on how to wear this. Way number one, the way number two, like this, and style number three is like this. So we're gonna try these out right over here. I'll tell you guys how this is. So one pro that this has is you guys will know that usually in airports, it's uncomfortable. There is nowhere to like lay down. The seats are crammed and then sometimes you just wanna lay on your head. So this is gonna help you do that. Let's go to sleep. Oh, this is kind of nice. This is good because not only is it covering your eyes, it's also comfy. It's like a nice pillow. The only thing that would worry me about this is being at an airport and having some people maybe like take my stuff. I don't know. Am I thinking too cruel? This kind of inhibits the fact that you can't really see what's happening around you. So comfort wise, I think this is super comfortable, except if you're a girl like me who maybe you're going somewhere and you have makeup on, I feel like this is probably just taking away all the makeup that I have on. And it looks kind of funny. Like for sure you'll get some stairs, I'm sure, but it's nice. I like the fact that you can't see any light. The second way is like this. All right, so now we're pretending that I'm in the actual airplane. So if you're already on the plane, you know that's very uncomfortable. You're pretty tight with people. You're gonna be kind of uncomfortable, like if you're trying to sit this way or sleep this way. It's just like, it's not the best positioning, right? But if you have this, you can literally just balance your neck right here <laughs> like this. I mean, this kind of works the same way as traditional airplane pillows but it has three different functions. In case you're seeing someone a little bit too close and you just don't know which way to go, you can just kind of go like this. And then the last one. The last one is, this is the one that I find to be the funniest, kind of like a headband or something like that you got going on. Oh, this looks like a cool hat. I mean, it's kind of cool. Imagine if the person next to you and the person this way had one just like this and then we could all sleep like this. Something really cool that I just noticed about this is you can adjust this in case you got a bigger head. There you go. Or tighten it up like that. I don't know about you, but every time I travel, I find myself creating this huge list of just things that I need. It's literally a bunch of post-its all over my house. Just like, take your wallet, take your credit card, take this, take money, take cash, take your medicine. But not anymore, honey. Now all you need is this. So I thought this was super cute. It's a little thing that says, knock, knock, pack this. It's literally a huge list of things that you may need for your trip. So for example, what you do is you'll put the destination, any special events, how many days you're going. It'll even remind you to check the weather. It'll basically remind you of all the basic stuff you need of all the miscellaneous, the clothes, the hygiene. You might need a bottle of water, earplugs, a passport, of course, your driver's license. For miscellaneous, you might need your chargers, your laptop charger, an umbrella, house keys, all the little things that unfortunately every time I travel, I forget. I really like this. I've been using it a ton for all the traveling that I've been doing, which by the way, we are going to be starting up the vlog channel very soon on Natalie and Dennis show. I'm literally revamping both of my channels and I'm really excited for it. So we will be going on our honeymoon and just doing a ton of traveling. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna leave a link to our second channel right below. I really like this quote that it says right here. It says, bring half of what you think you need and twice as much money. Mm -hmm. Comment below what is your dream destination that you plan on tackling in 2018 if somebody were to give you a ticket to anywhere.
Airports are super crowded and you know what it's like to go with your carry-on bag and then your personal bag and it's just like everything is crazy, everything is falling everywhere. Well, I have a solution for you. This gadget looks very strange. Honestly, it looks like a, it just looks like a weird belt, but it is super functional and I'm gonna show you why. Basically what this is, is a carry-on strap. So what it's gonna help you do is with your carry-on item and your personal bag, you can tie this. Ooh, see, this is what would happen if I didn't have this thing. You can tie your bag onto it and that way you can be hands-free, you can be texting, you can be holding your ticket and pretty much just attentive to anything in the airport. And I know some of you are thinking that you can just wear the backpack on your back, but the reality is sometimes you can, you know, overpack, it's kind of heavy, so you might as well just save your back a little bit of, uh, of work and just, just attach it on. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. This is a game changer. All right, the very first step is to take the buckle and you're gonna pass it through the hand grip and then you're just gonna clip it in place. Then taking this end, you'll put your bag like so, right there, and then you'll flip it around, ta-da! All you have to do is just adjust this strap right here. And there you go, your bag is securely on. No more flaking, no more falling around, especially no more worrying about it falling off of your carry-on, it's nice and secure. Nelly, I know you hit record. Follow me on Instagram. Hey, underscore, it's Dennis. I caught you. I just did it because you were really fascinated with this product. Hi, guys. <laughs> Follow our vlog. If you're someone like me who loves jewelry, but you can never seem to have it in one place, especially when you're traveling, I feel like all my jewelry pieces, especially my earring, like I have one and then it's lost. Bye-bye. Forever. Typically, I used to travel with like something like this, just a little earring holder with all my, and that's exactly what would happen. But nowadays, I came across this gadget that looks a little something like this. It's a little weird, but you can pretty much pin this anywhere you want. They come separately like this, but I like to use this little plastic gear thing where they're all kind of attached to. And all you do is just hook on your earrings. Hook on your earrings? Hook your earrings up. All you gotta do is hook your earrings through here like this and then clip it back and you have a nice little placeholder. See, like that, so nice. It's amazing, trust me. Once you have your earrings on, it'll look a little something like this. You can also, like I said, put these little individual pieces towards the back. You might as well just use a little packaging thing. And it is amazing. I have not lost one earring and I use all of them, which is awesome because it just spices up every single outfit. These are so cute and tiny. But I'll usually just put this in my purse. Whoa, not like that. But what I'll do is I usually pop this like in my purse or my makeup bag and then all you gotta do is slip it out, look at it, flip it around if you got the other sides on there and then that's it, decide. It's so much easier. Trust me, you guys, such a simple gadget and it's super inexpensive. I love this one. This next gadget is gonna save your life one day. Well, maybe not your life, but your iPhone or your gadgets or any kind of electronics life. This is the all-in-one adapter. If you know when you're traveling away from maybe like the States, every type of outlet is different like in Australia, in Europe, in Asia. So this has it all in one. So I don't really have an example to show you guys because I am here in the US, but if you're going out of the country, you will notice that this will really come in handy. Yes, one ticket to anywhere, please. Actually, make that two. You're coming with me, right? Okay, thanks, bye. I hope you enjoyed today's hack video. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Check out my last video right here by clicking on it where I show you some things that uh, people do to annoy you and I hope you can relate. Please click it. Subscribe right over here by clicking on my face. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And just make sure you have notifications turned on by clicking on this little bell. That way I could see you twice a week. I wanna wish you an amazing day. Don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye.